wonderful to be here this morning. It thank does. You, James. Thank you. Yeah. When James got here, it just felt like an instant uh, recognition, you know, and it happens quite often when people find their way out here. It's a bit of a pilgrimage just getting to the monastery. Um, we're about, I don't know, 10 miles down a dirt road in a very remote canyon in eastern Utah, very beautiful and secluded and remote and peaceful and all those things that help us drop down into the truth of who we are and let go of those obstacles and distractions of the world. Mm -hmm. So when you got here, it was just like, it was so, you know, heartfelt, mm. heartfelt. So it's been beautiful having you here. Mm, thank you. Yeah. You know, I, I have this image of, of a tethered balloon. You know, they used to show this in old movies where there'd be at a fair or something, there would be a hot air balloon with a basket and it would be tied down and it would be just off the ground, but right. it would yeah. not be able to fly and it would be tied with these ropes. And that's what perception is. And we, we're always tied down by our thoughts and our ideas and our concepts. And coming here, I, I know that for the first little while I, I, could, I could actually feel them. Hmm. That's the beautiful thing about an environment like this is that you can feel mm. those ropes and the chains that that hold our mm. consciousness. Mm. But then if you're just gentle with yourself, it's like beginning to untie those and mm. one gets untied then another and then before long you're flying. Yeah. The, the, the balloon has let go and mm. you're able just to soar and that's what an environment like this and a beautiful monastery like this mm. is for me. And it's in that pause where the miracle happens. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, our, it's all about mind, right? Mm -hmm. It's not about what's going on out here. You can have that stillness wherever you are. But mm -hmm. here, it's the, because the stillness is amplified, so is the opportunity. Yeah, yeah. It's like, the, like in nature, you know, a lot of people feel this, this connection, this deeper connection in nature because... You know, the trees aren't trying to be better trees. Yeah. You know, the, the chipmunks aren't trying to be better than the other chipmunks. And there, so there's a naturalness here yeah. that is very much the way that the mind actually is. But there's so many distractions in the world that you almost think it's normal to have those tethers, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And like you said, you don't have to come and live in a place like this. But to be able to come and have a space where you mm -hmm. can come and just start to get in touch with those tethers and, and let them mm -hmm. go and then carry it back out, you know, carry it back out into whatever, whatever you're doing. And we just recently opened this up <coughs> for people to come. Um, it's been a pretty uh, well used uh, property for deep mind training based in the Course of Miracles, mm -hmm. like really using the mirroring of relationships and undoing the blocks to the presence of love. And so it's been it's been beautifully used and now it's it's kind of like this wonderful support for the silence we're dropping more and more into the silence ourselves mm -hmm. and we just have this beautiful heart opening for people who have that desire because there's not really a lot of places that you can go to to find that you know so um, yeah we're very very inspired for people to be able to come and just let go mm -hmm. just let go you know and uh, and just be without an agenda. We're not teaching anything here. We're, we're just a living demonstration. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The peace is possible, and it is our natural state. And if you are a student of A Course in Miracles, this is a really special place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because it is such a, a living embodiment of that vortex. And I, I always like to think of the course as a vortex because when it mm. pulls you in, <laughs> yeah. it doesn't let you out. It and doesn't let you out. This is a, a place where that can really happen. Mm. Once again, in the pause, you get away from all of those tethers, all of those ideas and thoughts and so-called responsibilities mm. and could just be present here. Mm. This is a, a place where the course can really sink its, its yeah. hooks into you. Yeah. And that is a good thing. Yeah. So how about singing us a... <clears throat> Beyond this world There is a world I really want I really want Beyond
on this world There is a world That I want